How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Life in General Vlogs. Obviously, as you could see, we haven't been vlogging that much. I've kind of changed the channel a little bit and I'm doing a little bit in between uh, of everything. So, welcome to today's video. As you could see from the title, it is Ultimate Clean With Me all day pretty much it took me about four hours to clean because i have a little one who is nine months old and she just wants to be doing everything anyways i started in my dining room as you could see it is a little bit dark so i apologize in advance i'm very sorry my lighting wasn't that good i should have put the camera in a different angle anyways I have some nice music in the background if you are about to clean or you need to be motivated to clean this is the video for you it is a little bit long it's shy of 30 minutes okay so it's 29 minutes long but it's awesome get your stuff ready put this on TV or on your phone and listen to the music and clean with me and then you get to see how I do it all of my family that specific week that you're watching were sick I didn't get sick yet I was in the process of getting sick but other than that my husband was sick my baby girl was sick my neighbors were sick oh my god Pointing, blaming you, you did not know As you could see, my living room looks like a disaster. My little one gets all the DVDs and everything like that out and then my camera decided to be blurry, so please forgive me.
Oh my gosh, you guys. Finally, I was able to finish up with that room. I thought it will never end because I had to sanitize so much and vacuum little sections of the that part of the house because this is where we spend the most most of our time especially in the morning and evenings you name it our house is very tiny so it gets messy really quickly especially with the little baby that just started crawling I could only imagine what's gonna happen when she's a toddler because right now she crawls over to the TV and she gets everything out Anyhow, you could guys probably wondering why is there a cat bowl with food in the middle of the rug in the kitchen? My cat, every single day, will move that bowl of food out to that same specific spot of the house and make sure he spills all the food on the ground or half of it or flip the bowl. Do something like that silly I just cleaned the kitchen last night I tried to clean the kitchen a night before I go to sleep that way I am NOT stressing out over a dirty kitchen in the morning especially that now Emma wakes up in the middle of the night to eat when she was a baby she didn't do that but now as she's older I guess she gets hungry and which is fine with me but I hate when I have dishes and I have a messy kitchen in the morning I do not like it it makes me Ugh, I just don't like it. Sometimes when I'm really sick or I'm exhausted, that's a different story. I then just leave it or Ryan will do it, depending on my day. So I just had to vacuum that section because of the cat food. Yeah. I do this every single day. That cat is something else. I don't know if any of you guys have a cat like that. Let me know down below in the comments. Now we're gonna start with the most messiest and the most uh, virus, virusy room ever. My husband was really sick. As I said earlier, he had a fever of 104. It was a flu virus. Him and my daughter Emma got sick really bad. I didn't get it yet, but as you could hear, hear from this video right now as I'm recording, you could probably hear my voice. I'm a lot better now. Guys, this little munchkin was crying. <gasps> Who is that? Is it baby Emma? Emma. <gasps> Say hi. I was napping. I was napping for a long time and then I started crying. Who is crying? Emma was crying. Yeah. 
What you do, she? She hi. Mommy gotta feed me. I'm hungry. Say hi. <laughs> I love you. You're so adorable. I am not a bad parent, you guys. She sits, and this is how kids learn. It's a really short little bench, and uh, she likes to climb things, and I spoke into my pediatrician. If it's not too high for her, just let her do it. As long as I watch her, I'll let her be independent as much as I can, but watch what happens. She's gonna try to get off, and her little booty boot is gonna scooch over and <laughs> fall she's a little tumble but it's okay she's fine she didn't hit anything as you could see in a mirror right there she was totally fine and giggling and smile smiling we're just gonna go ahead and continue cleaning
I'm finally almost done with this room. I love and love this bedding set that my mom got me. It comes with the duvet cover that I'm actually putting on a bed right now. Uh, I'm not putting any blanket in there because all of my warm blankets, covers, comforters, you call it, I put them away because it gets really hot in the summer and we are in the summer right now. And that specific uh, cover, it's like a fleece cover type of deal, but from Versace, my aunt got it for me when she was on a trip to Europe. So she brought it for me for this New Year's when she was visiting, which I really like, my, my favorite color, blue. But our bedroom is purple, actually. Yeah, my mom got me that bedding set in Koreatown in Los Angeles when I was visiting uh, my family in April with Emma. Yeah, I love it. It's very comfy. I have four sets of bedding and I all change every single week and rotate them. As you could see, I finally finished with this room and I did put my sea salt lamps on. I love them. I got them on Amazon. I will put a link down below for you guys. They're so affordable. They neutralize any negative energy or any energy, like if you have your phone and stuff like that. Yeah. As you could see, that's me. And uh, that's Panthro. That's the evil of the house, you guys. He took Chloe's bed and he demanded it. Yeah, as you could see, those are my cleaning supplies. And this is the makeup area that I did. I will link the video down below for you guys. If it's not there, that means it hadn't come out yet. And as you could see, we started with Emma's room. We're listening to music and she likes it. I don't let her on the floor in her bedroom because she will she will crawl down to the stairs or out of the room or she'll just grab on me. But, you know, she has a little dinosaur. I'm trying to sanitize all of her room basically because she was really sick. And as you could guys probably see, you know, hear from my voice right now as I'm recording, I'm still sick. And it's been like a week and a half. A little trick, as you could see my changing table there, what I just did, it's actually a pillowcase. I have actual um, special casing for the little pillow thing, but that one, I just use a pillowcase that I like that my mom got for Emma. Her little shoes, you guys. I love her little shoes, they're just so adorable. And I hope you guys like the music in the background that I'm playing for you. Um, I have a link down below what I got it. I love that music. As you guys could see, that little painting right there with the giraffe mama and the giraffe baby, it is very special to me. My mom gave it to me and I grew up with it. It's made out of mineral rocks and uh, Emma has it now. As you could see, we're finally done with this room. Yay, it is clean and awesome. I don't allow the pets in her room, by the way. Uh, the dog especially, but the cat could go in. But now what I'm doing in the bathroom is uh, 
spot cleaning basically just trying to sanitize the bathroom uh, I usually do a deep deep clean where I like to the bathtub and everything like that once a month and, uh, and then weekly I will clean like spot clean and I'll clean the top anyways I usually spray it and clean it every day anyways because before Emma takes a bath it's very important so I use the method bath cleaner spray but once a month I'll do like a deep cleaning with magic eraser and Ajax and like deep 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 clean the bathroom where I take like an hour on it other than that, I usually, daily, I'll take like two minutes, three minutes to just wipe everything down and sanitize it. And then weekly, I'll take 15, 20 minutes to kind of clean it, you know. you guys this is what I use green works on my toy bowl and method bathroom cleaner I actually love it I use it daily I hope you guys enjoyed this video I did for sure I hope you guys enjoyed the music in the background and it had motivated you guys to clean especially when you're sick or your whole family was sick um, it was definitely difficult because Emma was uh, really really cranky because she was you know she's little and she's a baby she wants to be held all the time anyways you guys if you guys are on our channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe I love new subscribers and I love to see your comments uh, this is how I interact with you guys usually I comment right back if you guys have any suggestions for any other videos that you guys would like to see comment down below and then I have more cleaning videos and organizing videos to come and I'll be posting some vlogging videos also but not every day thank you so much and I'm so thankful and grateful for you guys please don't forget to subscribe once again thumbs up and please comment down below and don't forget to press the little bell this is how you will know when our video when our next video is coming up. Alright, thank you guys so much. Have a good one.